It's Mailbag Monday, and tonight's openings begin with three Jolly Bargemen English Dark Mild Ale from Stone Angel Brewing in Winnipeg. They describe it as silky smooth, unpretentious, a session strength ale with notes of toasted hazelnuts, chocolate, and coffee. Unfortunately, as of about a month ago, we can no longer visit their tap rooms or store or buy their beer. All right, first thing in is... Hmm, not much of a description. It just says development board. Feels like something board like in there. What do we have? It is three and a half millimeter jacks on it, so it's an audio board of some sort. And even without that clue, it says right there it is an MP3 decoder VS1003 slash VS1053. Right, I'm assuming that's what that chip is. I also noticed it's got a microphone on it, as well as a couple of voltage regulators up there. 3.3 volts and 2.5 volts. And then a bunch of uh, Mozzie Miso SCL, data request, uh, 5 volts ground, just general kind of control pins and power pins on the side there. So it can obviously be controlled from a microcontroller. Always fun to play with different modules. Let's uh, take a look at the listing, see if we can figure out a bit more about it. And I'm sure I'll dig into this thing in its own video at some time in the future. VS1003B, VS1053, MP3 module development board, onboard recording function. Got this from AliExpress for about $4.85 Canadian with uh, about $2.5 shipping. Their description says that it's an MP3 slash WMA slash MIDI audio decoder and ADPCM encoder. Ah, it was the MIDI functions that I picked this thing up for. I can't remember where I saw it originally. But uh, it seemed like it might be an interesting thing to play with. There's not that much more information about it on here. But I seem to recall when I ordered it, there was some data sheets available. So I will hunt those down and at some time in the future, explore it further. Off to an excellent start so far. Let's see what this next package says. Of course, Canadian reshipping warehouse. No customs lies on it. Fine, be like that. In the box, we have, oh, a power supply module. This one claims 180 to 240 volts, 50 or 60 hertz input with a 12 volt, 16.6 amp output. 180 volts is a low voltage input. Hmm, I may have made an error. Let's go and take a look, see if the listing said that, if I screwed up or if they just sent me something that I may not be able to use. Ultra thin LED power supply, DC 12 or 24 volt lighting transformers, 100 watt, 150 watt, 200 watt, AC 180 to 260 volt driver for LED strip lights. I got the 100 watt 12 volt version, but I wasn't paying attention. Damn it. Yeah, it says right there, 180 to 264 volts. Well, that's entirely my fault. Fortunately, I guess I got free shipping. And it was cheap. I was probably blinded by the cheap price and didn't look too carefully at the details. Learn from my mistakes, folks. Well, let's just try this thing and see if it will work on 120 volts. I don't expect that it will, but 120 volts input. Oh, it actually does work. Well, okay. So maybe it's not as big a mistake as I thought it was. I guess if it works with a load on it, which I'll test later, uh, then I guess I've got myself a 15 plus amp uh, DC power supply. And if not, then I've got a lesson for myself. Right, next in comes from an anonymous donor to my P.O. box. What? What, what mysteries do we have? Huh? <laughs> a whole bunch of sponges for my soldering station. Because I have spoken before about how I'm sort of 50-50 on using a sponge and using the uh, brass or copper or whatever it is shreds. Um, I still like to use the sponge when it's... Uh, when my tip is really dirty just to get the big globs off and then this guy to keep it maintained while I'm using it. 
so somebody took pity on me and got me a whole stack of these things. There's what, five in each package, and there's three packages of yellow ones and two packages of blue ones. That's about four lifetimes worth. And also, there's this envelope in the package as well. I don't know if that's just more sponges. Yes, it is. More sponges in a smaller size. Wow, that's, yeah, multiple lifetimes worth of solder, soldering iron cleaning sponges. <laughs> and apparently, my benefactor bought these from AliExpress, so I can give you some links down below. But they bought five each of three different types and then 10 each of the small ones quick search on aliexpress and uh, found a few sellers several sellers who have solder clean solder tip cleaning sponges i'll link you to the cheapest one that i found which is this one right here all right next thing in again doesn't say what it is in the customs life for some reason so in we go oh it's two packages. Hang on, let me edit the uh, labels on them and I'll be right back. So what do we have in here? Two of them in there. More label maker uh, tape for my knockoff brother PZ type label maker that I've got some time ago. You know, the one that makes uh, this type of labels. Um, this time I got nine millimeter and 12 millimeter. Presumably these were just cheap, and I have been labeling things in my lab here. This isn't a lab, this is a shop. Um, and, you know, running out, so get more and get it cheap. 6 slash 9 slash 12 millimeter 231TZ white label tape, etc, etc, etc. Compatible for brother label maker. Uh, they have them currently listed between 358 and 384 Canadian, but apparently they cannot ship to my address anymore for whatever reason. Regardless, I will link you to this page and you can use the search terms to search for uh, something similar if you'd like. Oh yeah, and I paid $2.63 for the 12 millimeter and $2.17 for the nine millimeter back when I bought them in February. So what's in the other envelope then? Because that's the only thing that I bought from Cartridge King store. But maybe this is AliExpress doing bulk shipping together. A uh, heavy little box. What are you? Hmm. Oh, these are metal bi blank business cards for laser engraving upon. So I got, looks like a package of assorted colors. I got like five of each color. Lots of different ones. Get out. Yeah, there is the assortment of colors. A uh, couple of metallics up there. Some silver ones. Black, whatever color that is. Blue and pink or purple and red and something else and more black ones that should be an interesting assortment to play with on the laser um, obviously i'm not going to be able to cut these because it's only a 22 watt laser and it's not going to be able to cut through metal but it can definitely burn off the colored coating on top of it and re and uh, reveal the silver underneath which i think could be a cool look now i just got to come up with a logo or a business card design that looks good and uh see if that will work 50 pieces metal business cards aluminum alloy blinks card for custom laser engraving diy gifts 11 colors optional i got the mixed colors as you saw and currently they're going for 348 plus 1069 shipping i paid 12 bucks all in when i bought these back several months ago uh, the prices change and whatnot and Based on how I normally uh, buy stuff, this will have been the cheapest that I could find at the time. Aluminum, 0.2 millimeters thick, uh, 86 by 54 millimeters, which should be, I think, standard business card size. Uh, they say it's similar size to a credit card or a bank card. Suitable as a VIP gift or metal card for company. Yeah, that's uh, that's what I intend to do with them. Not that I'm 
in any position to hand out business cards for my YouTube channel, but who knows what the future brings. And as is tradition, the last and largest piece in, it says control board. Should be exciting to see what kind of control board goes in a box this huge. Somewhat beat up in the post box, but... Oh, there's more than just a board in there. Arcade buttons. Ah, ha, ha, I remember ordering this. This is basically an arcade adapter. Um, it takes all the buttons and the joystick, sends them out as USB, and you can program them into your homemade uh, MAME cabinet, or really any sort of a homemade uh, arcade controller system. But that's what I intend to do. Use this guy with a Raspberry Pi, one of those HDMI monitors that I got from one or another of my sponsors, get some plans that I think I found online for an arcade cabinet, cut that out on the laser, and make myself a bar top arcade machine. So the kit comes with uh, six white buttons, four colored buttons, a nice round screw-on knob for the joystick, a joystick of the arcade variety that uses four micro switches to determine which direction it's going. You hear that all that clicky old school goodness. There is a bunch of wires for joining things together. There is the little dust shield thing for the joystick. Very authentic to the arcade experience. Of course, the USB cable pre-terminated in a four pin GST and the board itself. Minimal components on this side, just a few resistors, a crystal, some capacitors, a couple of LEDs. On the back side though, we have, oh, it's a blob chip. I can't figure out what's going on inside it. Dag nabbit. Regardless, that should make things really easy for this project. Single sweet white classic DIY arcade joystick kit. Five pin eight way joystick model. This is currently selling for $39.69 Australian or $35.12 Canadian. Back when I bought it, it was $23.41 Canadian. So prices have changed. As always, search for the best price you can find. And there is the contents of today's Mailbag Monday haul. Quite the variety. I think all good stuff this time. Not a dud in the whole batch. Wow. So there was this uh, MP3 decoder, which also claims to be able to be a MIDI sound generator. So I'll have to play with that and see if that's what it really does. There's the 12 volt, uh, 16 and a half amp power supply, which claims to only be able to run down to 180 volts AC, but I, I tested it at 120 and it seems to work. I'll have to test it further and see what it does with a load on it. Then there was all these soldering tip cleaning sponges, several lifetime supplies. So I am well stocked. I might even donate some to the local makerspace. Uh, this is wild. Thank you to the anonymous donor who sent those in. Then we have the label maker tape. Again, that's just a consumable that I use around here. Um, so I figured I'd grab a couple when I saw them cheap. Also, for some reason in the same package, there was these metal business cards, which I'm going to experiment with on the laser and see if I can make them work or which ones I can make work. And of course, the biggest one of the night, the joystick and uh, arcade buttons set. That should be a fun project when I get to it, probably later in the year, because I'm going to have to do some uh, some design work or hunting to find uh, an arcade cabinet design that I want to build. And yeah, this is, this is lots of future project work um, and some consumables. So we'll see when I get to these later in the year. Stay tuned for more. Well, thank you everybody for watching as always. Thanks to my anonymous donors who keep sending stuff in and a special thanks of course to my Patreon supporters and my, US, and my YouTube channel members who help me pay for this stuff and help keep the beer fridge full. I do appreciate you guys. And as always, uh, questions and comments down below. Thanks for watching. I'll talk to you later.